Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of my reaction to The Haunting of Bly Manor, season one, episode five. If you haven't watched part one, go back and watch that one first. And we're gonna jump right back into this conversation that Hannah Gross is having with, I think this is Charlotte, Lady of the Bly Manor, and they're talking about death. God, I do. I still love him. And what he did was, it was horrible, but Yes, it was. What did he do? So when you find someone who truly sees you, who truly believes in you, sometimes more than you believe in yourself, that you are smart enough and capable enough and tells you so, or you hold on oh, to- Oh, she's wearing that butterfly clip. Shit, dog. Also, is she talking about Peter? Because he's a bit of a piece of shit. Them and you don't let go. I've never met anyone like him. I know he's not perfect. More than that, though, isn't it? Forgive me for saying so, Rebecca, but he's got this shit out of me. And he's just a terrible person, and Hannah is completely correct, and I don't trust him. You don't know him, Hannah, you don't. And now we're gonna jump through time again when she goes through this door. Okay. She is like mood right now, seriously. Hannah Gross is mood anytime Peter Quinn comes around. <laughs> like, fuck that guy. We had a mouse problem a few years back. That man is a glue trap. <laughs> and when Rebecca realizes that she won't come up whole, she'll just tell it. She thinks she's okay. Oh, girl. Until she realizes she's stuck. What an analogy that was. Denial. I'm looking at this as an opportunity to hone my skills. Not so again! Not again! Here what the hell? Also, Danny and Jamie aren't in this episode at all. I'm gonna cry. It would be a great learning experience. I'll be stuck in this glue trap of a town just like everyone else. We talked about that once. Oh yeah, we haven't. But I thought about it for weeks after we did. Thought about what that must feel like. What is going on? What is going on? I don't just happen to stumble in there. And we the things that we could be in America. Do you understand what I'm saying? It sounds like you're trying to steal something. It sounds like you're trying to do a little scheme to make some money here. That's what I'm getting. So I'm, I need to pack her bags and be getting to go. She has a job, buddy. She and lives here with please. these children. Can you trust me? And don't tell anyone. Anyone. You understand? And no, I'm coming back here for you, I promise. Well, so he never comes back, and then she, like, is heartbroken, and then she wanders no. into the lake? Is that what happens? So he can't see her? <laughs> What's that? Is she a ghost? Like what? Oh, well, this is just her memory and just she's all just it's all confusing and weird. I'm just not gonna ask you any more questions because whatever. It's not meant to be followed. Uh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Hannah. I'm so sorry. How do you turn up? Oh. Uh. Well, you can sleep. I'm sure it's fine. Going back to bed, both of you. Is the lady of the lake gonna kill him? And he's going back to steal shit now. I thought I said go back to bed. Uh! <laughs> oh my god, it's what he deserved though. <laughs> the lady of the lake was like, fuck you. <laughs> oh my god, she like doesn't have a face. And my kids like saw this happen. Okay. What? I I go back to bed. Is the lady inhabiting his body? What's go what's going on? What's going on? The lady. It's in the lake. Mm-hmm. She's Yep. Don't you remember? She just 
yeah, you're a ghost and they can see him. She just choke slammed you. Ha! <laughs> you're a ghost, motherfucker. Oh, here's your body. Thought I would bring it back here. <laughs> oh, nope, she's just gonna take it to the lake. Let me go! Let me go! You bitch! Let me go! What the heck? So they saw him and then he like manifested his voice into Miles. <laughs> I'm not mad about this, to be honest. <laughs> oh god. Ooh, that's creepy. That's very, very unsettling. <laughs> no thank you. I'm looking at this as an opportunity to Oh my god, chill thousands. with these time flashes. It's throwing me off. So I'm gonna look back before, have I? Haven't you? Oh Rebecca. I mean you haven't met her yet, right? That's the that's the rub of this situation, is that sure? This is very lost, you know, in the episodes where Desmond is jumping back through time in his brain and it's back and forth. It's not as confusing as this, but still. It's two years away. Dominic is dead. Charlotte is dead. Rebecca is dead. Peter is missing, you think? I mean, he's dead for sure. Like, he's not missing. He's he was dragged into the lake, right? He's dead. Flora is eight. Something is wrong. With Peter Quint, you step away from that boy. Do you hear me? Oh my God, he's the here. Looking, looking for you. I mean, he's dead, right? Like, he's he's not here. He's dead. And when they find out that you're back, why can't you just leave well enough alone? The reason he's acting so crazy is because Peter's inhabiting his body. Nope. Most of the time, but not right now. Nothing would make me happier than to be arrested by those police you're talking about. To be dragged off this fucking property, away from this god awful trap. But I can't. Can I? You no. Can't. He's stuck here. Because? Because you're stuck on the property. You're dead. Honestly, oh, Hannah! <laughs> Bitch, I saw that coming. Ooh. Oh, man. No, she's for sure dead. She's real dead. This is the first time. Hi, Miles. It's nice to meet you. So pleased to meet you, my lady. Oh, my God. This is freaking me out. What a good, like, it's not really a twist, but what a good little throwback to this scene where they met Danny and that's what was happening. Oh. Mm -hmm. And this must be Mrs. Gross. Hi. Oh, Danny. Goodness, I, I was miles away. <laughs> yes, sorry, had a great What is happening to her? Oh, pleasure to meet you. You too. Well, that only is a fine man. Bug. Yeah. <laughs> we can't count on the past. And we're back here again. Memories fade. We could fade at any time. Certainly seems like this is ringing true now that we've just seen this entire episode of her memories failing her and, or not, or just getting other people's memories or having hallucinations or whatever it was. Owen seems to be correct. I will go to Paris with you. Yay! Yes. It's gonna be ruined or something. Yes. He's gonna. Alcohol you later. It won't. Uh, no, no, um, I know the road. Oh, Sorry. God. Wait. Missed opportunity. Please. Well, good. Oh, God, this is so sad. She deserves better than whatever is happening to her right now. Please. Oh. You had a curse to go. It's 1987. You're at Why? Miles is 10. Floor is 8. Oh man, this is something else. I feel so bad for her. Grace. Grace. 
Oh man, that was so, that was such an interesting episode. So confusing, but so interesting. Oh my god, honestly we love a Hannah Gross episode. That was so good. I was thoroughly confused the whole time, but that was basically, that reminded me so much of the Lost episode, The Constant, where it's all about Desmond. It's like all about a non-main character, and it's just jumping through time and seeing their history and their experience. And we learned a lot from that episode, to be honest. I mean, we finally saw the lady in the lake. We found out what happened to Peter Quint. We found out sort of like what happened to Rebecca. It sounds like when after Peter died, she just was like heartbroken, like Romeo and Juliet style. And she like walked into the lake and maybe the lady of the lake took her too. I thought Rebecca was the lady in the lake, but sounds like she's not. We also saw so much of Hannah and Owen, which is really building on me, the fact that their relationship is so strong and whatever kind of relationship they have. It's obviously like semi-romantic. I don't know, that last scene was so sad though when she was chasing after him. <laughs> like, oh my God. And she like wanted to go to Paris with him. What the fuck? And we saw that she may or may not die in the future or she like pictured herself dying or she was seeing, she couldn't have seen something that happened in the past unless everyone there is a ghost at Bly and like Danny is the only and Danny and the kids can like see all the ghosts and they think they're real people I don't know man Carlo Gugino's character in the beginning did say that there is a story about ghosts of all sorts so maybe they're all ghosts who fucking knows but thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode and I hope you enjoyed this reaction please follow me on Twitter subscribe to this channel for more and check out my patreon where you can get these episodes earlier than they will be on YouTube. And I will see you guys back here very soon for Bly Manor episode six.